Uh, no, why? Really? Oh, um, well, okay, uh, cue me. Oh. Thank you, Laura Graziano, for bringing to my attention that Selena Gomez posted behind the scenes video from Omit B Season 3. She posted this video on her TikTok. I'm a little tired. I work the graveyard shift and it's a little bit past my bedtime. But Laura knows that if they release some video footage, I'm going to look and crawl and find and see anything that I can. And I don't plan on disappointing her. The video starts with Selena Gomez talking to Martin Short. It's on the set and it's Charles' apartment and they're in front of that infamous suspect's board. As Selena pans around, there is a slight moment where we can see a good section of the board and we get to identify a couple people. Starting on the bottom, we have a picture of Jonathan. We first met him in Season 2, Episode 8, Hello Darkness, where he was talking to a neighbor in the Arconia during the blackout. While talking to Howard, Dr. Grover Stanley told us that Jonathan is subletting an apartment on Howard's floor, and I believe that Howard is on the third floor, and that would make Jonathan's apartment 3A. Right above him, we see a picture of a woman with black hair and notice the bangs. It says her name is KT. And right below it, you can see some letters. It looks like two words. There's a G towards the end and the second word starts with an M. So I'm assuming that this is stage manager. And that would make sense because she kind of looks like this woman that we saw at the end of episode 10 of season 2. A little bit further up, we get this picture of a blonde woman. I think it might possibly be this person because of the hair style it seems kind of similar, but I can't be sure. That's the only person I haven't been able to identify. But right next to her, we see this picture of this man and you can kind of make it out. It says his name is Dicky, and he is Ben's assistant. It would make sense because we saw him next to Ben in the teaser trailer carrying bags and these bags likely belong to Ben. It's understandable that Ben's assistant would feel some animosity towards him and could be a very likely suspect for his demise. And just for about three frames, there is a photo of Meryl Streep's character Loretta also on the board. Her picture has the letters A-S-T underneath, the rest of the word is cut off, but I am assuming that it's cast as she is a member of the cast of the play. It looks as if Loretta and Oliver are in a conversation at Charles' apartment with her face being on the board. I'm going to make the assumption that she was likely a suspect and then at this point, they don't believe she's a suspect. She might have done something to free them or abolish their ideas of her being nefarious. So they're kind of bringing her into the fold. I don't think that it means that Loretta is a good person. I do believe that she has something nefarious going on, even if she isn't the killer. Right above Loretta's head is a card that says time of death, likely referring to the death of Ben Glenroy. This tells us that almost every single person that is a suspect on this board has some part in the production that Ben dies in. The only person that doesn't is Jonathan, and he is still tied to the theater. It's very strange that Jonathan would be in here alongside all these people that you would technically assume don't directly know each other, but as we know that Jonathan plays a hyena in Lion King, it's likely that he met Ben somewhere along in the past, and those two don't get along. There are two other major items on the board, and one is really hard to make out. First, on the left, you get this yellow package, it looks like. There might be some red lettering on it, and then something, maybe a part of the emblem or the logo, is black on the bottom of this thing. 
it's clearly some type of brand packaging and even though i don't know what it is my guess is that it could possibly be a tea package if the trio thinks he was poisoned it's likely that he could have been poisoned by tea so finding the wrapper to his tea it could have been something from someone's private stash you know some type of artisanal tea and that will make them think that they are closer to finding the killer this other thing is very interesting it's bringing up something that we saw in the trailer and in some still photos from behind the scenes now first i'm going to tell you i don't know what this object is i can't tell what it is but i can tell you that the picture on top is of a red rattle we first saw a baby cloth with a bunch of red rattles in Charles' hand in the trailer, and then in behind the scenes photo, we saw that it was pinned to the murder board. You can see it just for a little bit in the video Selena took. So now that we know that this is a picture of a rattle, what is it on? It's not very big. It might be out there, but it kind of looks like a fondant covered cookie. It could possibly be like red velvet cake with a fondant baby rattle on top. I don't know what this is, but that's what I'm guessing. Even if it's not a cookie, what does a baby have to do with this? Was there a baby in the story? Was there a baby shower that happened? Or like, is Ben Glenroy a father and he has a child? Why was there cookies or this strange little item with baby rattles on? What significance does that hold to the mystery? Selena continues to walk around the board and we can see on its reverse there are lots of pages of scene scripts. And I tried so hard to focus in to see if I could find anything that was legible but i couldn't get anything that was more than just a couple words i'm gonna put the best frame i could uh, find on the screen pause it if you can read anything from there please let me know down below if you could please give this video a like try and help push this video out to other fans of the show so that we can all figure out the mystery together but that was all i could figure out from this short video selena posted on her tiktok was there anything that i missed do you think that could be a cookie or were you able to decipher any of the words on the page please let me know down below thank you for watching screen favorites my name is dallas and I'll catch you on the rooftop.